Some things are worth getting up for, like today. What a beautiful day at the gorgeous Joondalup Resort. What makes it even better is we're with the new Callaway Epic Forged Iron. If you haven't seen the review, let's see. If you haven't seen the review, the links are below. It's ridiculously long. It's longer than War and Peace on 55 different planets. Two hundred meters uphill. Seven iron, of course. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh. That is long. So distance is one thing, but the big question is. With this descent angle and peak height, it needs to be able to stop. So this is exactly why we're out here at the Dune Look Resort on the Dune course, trying to find a hole that's long enough to deal with the seven iron and the Dune the fourth is that hole. So we're right on the back of the tee box now, and this is measuring 210 meters to the pin. The pin's right at the back, which is it gonna be long enough still? I'm not sure, but the main reason we're here is to see how it reacts on the green. Oh, cut back in. Is that going to be long enough? It's close if it is. It's just fell short, a bit too easy, but it stopped dead. <laughs> well, that didn't go to plan. Um, stood on the tee, hit four shots. Someone's directly behind us. It's really busy now. I had two at the green, two didn't hit the green. But what I thought we'd do is play with the flow. And we've landed on a par five. What are the chances? So in the review, when I was trying to absolutely hit it really hard, should I say, it was going about 215 meters. So this from the blue, par five is 436. It would be fantastic if we could get there in two. Big ask. Well, this um, escalated quickly. <laughs> so it's 425 from this pot. And I've got to say, I want to try and get Tom to show you the ball flight of this, to show you that even though it's a four iron loft, the trajectory is definitely not. Um, this shaft has impressed me. Like I say, it is basically a graphite, but it's the steel option, the steel fiber. Let's see if we can get there in two. Ha, that's gone very high. Out the bottom, there was some spin there. Right side, nearly Mr. S nearly Mr. Fairy with the seven iron. You know you've got problems. So, as I said in the review in the net, it's a very much a premium apex kind of iron. It feels extremely soft and um, but that's down to it being forged so it's just a feeling that i'm you know never really felt before the suspended energy core i think i said that a few times in my previous review but that combination with this just it feels fantastic oh so this is in the fairway but that's the blue marker of the 200 meters so it's slightly uphill this is going to take some serious slog to get there not a great lie, ball above feet. Any more excuses, Al? Ha, that's gone so high. Go. Short, let's just pop straight in the air, damn it. So, <laughs> we didn't make it. Um, a bit of a tough one, 220 metres out, uphill and uphill stance. Yeah, yeah, you're dreaming now, really. You are dreaming. But you can bump and run it any day. So with an iron like this, you expect it to feel like Bob the Builder's sledgehammer. 
Did Bob have a sledgehammer? I'm not sure, but you expect it to feel like that. And this doesn't, this feels very much like a sponge and a very nice sponge at that. <laughs> 215 meters uphill, we meet again. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And this is what this is, this is what it's trying to do. It's a great effort by Callaway in my eyes from the, from here, limited offset, which is perfect for the golfer that wants to improve, but doesn't like the ugly offsetness. Wow. I think I should come across a little bit more sensible in this next video. What do you think? Tommy, roller coaster coming up. Woo! Yippee! So you've probably seen me in the middle of the fairway. I'm going to hit a few shots into the green to see how they react, and Tom is going to try and do a bit of dodgeball. You could have picked me up. God. Give me a minute. <laughs> wow, okay, so ball was below feet, so we'd expect that left to right. I have not seen the reaction on the green, but I assume it stopped, especially with this one. Look at that for a group in, middle of the green, four put, fantastic. I assume that's just bounced and, well, not gone very far, which is exactly what we want from a seven iron. We don't want it to bounce there and end up in the Bundai, do you know what I mean? Brilliant. I really enjoyed that, I did. Um, obviously if you've come here for the tech, you need to check out the in-net review, we go into a lot of detail. This was just to take this out for a bit of a trip and really to see how it reacted on the greens. I think we've got a few good shots. Um, it's extremely high, it's, if not, normal 7 iron trajectory it's higher and it seems to be holding its own on the greens which is fantastic but don't take my word for it you know how important it is to get fitted and i'll say it over and over and over again even if i like something it doesn't matter you've got to like it so get fitted go and try this out and see what you think thanks as always for watching always appreciate it guys if you need any more help just put the questions down below in the comment section follow us on social media the links are below and of course subscribe bye